Good morning, everyone. It was snowing for most of the morning, and it has now stopped snowing. Just in time for us to start heading off to Tacoma for the Garth Brooks concert. I am super excited. Alright, we're about to head off for the concert now. It just started snowing again. Um, so we want to get there a little early just because of the weather, and there's going to be a ton of traffic, I bet, at the dome area, just of everyone trying to get to the concert. There's so much construction around there, because I drive there every day, you know, for school. It, it's such a mess, so we're leaving early to get there in time. <laughs> We're in row 23. So yeah, look at all the people that are filling up in here. And yeah, my friend. We're in row 23. So there's the stage. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Why am I? What just happened? All right, five minutes from start. They've turned all the lights off. People, you've already got me on my heels. I'm thinking Sunday afternoon, I might have a night off. You guys are ready to party. I can tell. Let's have fun.
I forgot the words to the song Remembers When, and he, the song should remember when, but I did not remember. <laughs> so I have this, I have this, you know, like nervous sweat happening right now, but I'm gonna give it a shot and just know that I, I know it's somewhere deep in here. I'm just really scared right now, Blaine, but I feel the love, so. <laughs> And now for a not so comprehensive review. So the Garth Brooks show last Sunday was incredible. It's definitely one of my favorite concerts that I've been to, and that is saying a lot, seeing as how I have seen bands like ACDC, Aerosmith, Def Leppard, Motley Crue, Alice Cooper, it just goes on and on. You know, Judas Priest, Steel Panther. So obviously I didn't show any clips of him performing in this video because I want to avoid copyright strikes and stuff on my channel as much as possible. Although I probably will be uploading some of the video clips to another channel that has some concert footage. So I may link that in the description if I get around to that. But for this video, I'm not showing any of the actual performance because I don't want a copyright strike. But I will kind of talk about some of the things that happened at the show and what was performed and stuff so that you guys know what the concert was like. So they played five shows in Tacoma um, in three days. So they played a show on Friday, two shows Saturday, two shows Sunday. We went to the Sunday afternoon show. It was the first time in almost 20 years that Garth Brooks has played in the Seattle area. He was last in wa uh, this area of Washington in 1998, so I was one. So like when the concert started, they had a bunch of his accomplishments up on the top screen there. You know, like how he's the best-selling solo artist in the United States and all this other stuff. Kind of get people hyped for the show. So I mean, he played a lot of his hits and fan favorites. I mean, he played one of my favorite songs, pretty much first off, Rodeo. You know, and he played a lot of his other hits, Shameless, Friends in Low Places, Thunder Rolls, you know, the works. He played a lot more songs than I thought he would. I mean, the performance was like three hours with him and Trisha. It is nonstop, and that was incredible. Because there's bands that only play for an hour. Um, so it was just really cool that he just kept going and kept going. I mean, there's so much audience participation you know, talking with us, telling jokes, you know, telling stories, and it was just a lot of fun. Um, like a highlight was when uh, one of his backup singers, Robert Bailey, he led the Tacoma Dome in his rendition of Shout from Animal House, and it was a lot of fun. It was, it was really cool. So it was just such a fun show, there was so much going on. And Trisha Yearwood didn't perform very many songs, she performed like five songs. But it was actually a lot of fun too. And I like how at the end of the, the show, how Garth took song requests from people that were holding signs. You know, I thought that was really awesome. Um, and it, the show was being recorded for a live album, so that was fun. There were some songs that were restarted for us to sing along to and stuff, so that it could make the album. I mean, and he didn't stop giving it his all, even when his voice started to crack and sound hoarse at the end, even though he had another show in two hours. And he just didn't stop, he just he kept going because he wanted to deliver the best performance for us as he could. I mean, for a Sunday afternoon, that was, it was crazy. So, amazing show, had a lot of fun. So I just want to make this quick video and talk about that experience and just because I haven't been uploading a lot because of school, and I'm trying to get back into some regular uploads, so bear with me. You know, this is kind of an old school phone vlog, but I will be back with more content hopefully every week. So, until then, I am Chase Sharaba, and I will see you next time.